Bike, someone's inside. Hey, you're riding out there. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the rounders. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious, I admit it. They're a little jumpy out here, you know? We'll surround him. Come on out and talk to me. Got it. Watch your back. Yeah, don't Come on, mister. We don't mean you no harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. Hey, sister. I thought you just wanted to talk, I guess. Yeah, you got it. Lay it into him. <laughs> ah, shoot the assholes. <laughs> ah, give it to him. <sighs> I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by, they see ours. I figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well then, don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me, if Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But... A lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as the old Mike man, and he trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back, that's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Booze man. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. 
Alright, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it! Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Ah, oh, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses? This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle, empty. Wait a second, case of beer? This is it. All right. What have we got? <laughs> Still got this beer bottle. Empty. Heading that way. Damn it. Boozer. Booze man! Hey, Dick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh... Oh, oh, the other farm. I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I, I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I go for a walk, you know, like this little walk at sunset. So, uh, I just walked to, uh, the other farm. You know? Oh, McDonald had a Ah, shit. Ah. Jesus, Boozer, what are you doing? All right, where? More beer bottles. Empty. More tracks. Okay, so you're not in the barn. Farmhouse, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Boozer, are you in here? Booze, man. Stairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze! Dude, 
I, wait, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Loser, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. <laughs> Already told you. Oh, oh, look at that shit. Get what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road's not, wow. It's just it's gone. Like like somebody came and just like, swept it away. The road's gone. Oh yeah. The the like somebody came and just swept it away. God. I'm walking and walking. I'm, and and now the road is just gone. Where, where are you going, Boozer? Home. That's where I'm going. Home. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. Hey. Home. Damn it, Boozer. Where the hell was the road washed out? That's gotta be him. You're mine now. Boot prints. Bingo. I can't give him a ride without my bike. I'm gonna need my bike. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh... Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? There he is! Little late for a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Loser, where are you going? Home. Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get... Get... You, no. you want to take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it? This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You're gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? That's how we're going out. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster then! Ah! It's cars! Rick cars. I see him, Boozer! Move us! Move us! I see it! I used to ride in a school bus. Oh, that's great, Boozer! That's just great! Oh, oh shit! Freak! Oh, I see him, Boozer! Faster then! Ah. It's cars! Rick's cars! I see him, loser! Not him like that! Oh shit, freak! Oh, I see him!
damn loser! That's the last of them! We're gonna be okay. I, I know. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, Deke. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you... All right, look. If it weren't for you, I... You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Hey, Ricky, I, uh... I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh... Don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, thank you. So, oh, who... I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you were asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Hey, someone's here. Open up. I've seen him around. I wonder about the frigate sometimes, you know? Like... Just right in the okay. crease there. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, it was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's really, really cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, those yeah. three goddamn musketeers. On guard, you fucking right. ripper. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, me. Damn it. Okay. Anyway. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, yeah. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah. 
Nah, Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? Tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel, off of uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground, doing... Whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, Brian, he's, uh, he's what? Your, your shot caller? Handler? No! Jesus, boozer. You know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. How you holding up? Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, on weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. And that little dirt bike I took around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. That site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, D. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. There it is. Jesus. Never thought I'd see one of those again. In the air, I mean. Hey, I don't want. The soldiers come out first, they secure the LZ. And then boy genius, researcher, scientist, okay. whatever the hell, Let's get this done. comes out and he looks around. Whatever science shit they're doing out here, how the hell would I know? Okay, wait here. samples. You mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, so you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. <laughs> Please don't interrupt. As well as pernicious berries from Janiferous <laughs> commonus. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> Freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike.
Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Well, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. What the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived? They survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from LA, from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel, some feds, people with clearance. Nero personnel, the soldiers, the guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. All They're about fast. hordes. Oh, I know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. 
Whole thing's a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, shit. Right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Tracks. It's gotta be his. Gotta take a clip. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Uh, this way. Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. I'm gonna let that shower run forever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that It sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go. All right, Deacon out. Over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. You are Shit, he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, no, we can't, God. we can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't, we can't do it here. Here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can, okay, boy. Okay, you see, it's okay. All right, just hold oh, Jesus, it. Deke. It's okay, just, that's it, all right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. I'm ready. Raise the founder. I'm hit! I'm his! Sounds disappointed. Well, I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know. If you hadn't made this shit for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I guess I... I know. You know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, there's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, what go? You know, goddamn well, your guy in the space suit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady, Where's your old lady? Huh? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Fucking shameful. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a ship. Give me a ride up there. It's, it's just north of Sherman's camp. Hey. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run-in with some... Hey, where the hell did you grow? We skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Sh 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 shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. Got a towel iron mic. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. That's all. Goddamn Schizo. Got what you need? Yep, everything I could think of. Let's go. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at Lost Lake, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here. Shit. Swarmers. I was hoping it was going to be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of light? Okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! <laughs> If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Hey, shit! Notes! 
I got him! Eek. Try it! Damn it! God damn it. Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. That. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Okay. Wow. Word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago, so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not going to deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right in the camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is gonna happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Don't be. She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to... I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? 
Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! Now the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip? Strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh... Remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I hear that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her business. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? <sighs> I think I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going, pal? Come here. Hey, buddy. Hello. Come here, buddy. Hi. Hello. All right, come here. Come here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Have it your way. Okay. Huh, what? Wake up, Ooh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What the hell's this? Shit. Shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, easy, easy. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on, huh? Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound? Hmm. All right, I'm here. What do you want? Hold on. Come on, in here. Excuse me, what's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. Hey, I've 
been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is, Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. But I know where you can get some. Right here. No. <laughs> no, I know what you're no. thinking. I get it. No, that's okay. in the middle of Ripper territory. Last time I went through there, you got it didn't... meds that saved your boy's no. life. We get the debt cord, we blow the cave, boom, goodbye, oh. horde. Uh -huh. It was your goddamn idea. Look, they have sealed the goddamn border. They sealed the tunnel. If I go through there, I'm starting a war. I Excuse got me. a plan. Besides, I'm going with you. And keep your ass out of trouble. Just grab as much gear as you can. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. And then meet me here, because there's a trail that goes over Iron Ridge. What? Right there. What are you talking about? Just trust me. Jesus. You in? I'll see you there. Hey, what are you doing? 